getting started. It's started. Okay, so DNA, what does that stand for? Uh, uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribonucleic acid, and then you have RNA. What does that stand for? Ribonucleic acid. Ribonucleic acid. Um, DNA, what's the structure of it? It's the double, uh, double helix. helix. So it's got that look to it, and then you've got your little base pairs in between it. Um, RNA is just single stranded. And where's DNA found? In the nucleus. Uh huh. And RNA? Nucleus and. in the cytoplasm. So it can be found in both places. RNA is more of a, um, like an older structure as opposed to DNA. So this is older than DNA. Um, so genetic information was originally single-stranded. Um, now it's double-stranded, but RNA can be found in the, okay, so there's two types of cells. What are they? Uh, eukaryotic and Prokaryotic. So eukaryotic is one that's going to have DNA in the nucleus. Um, RNA will be in the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell or it'll be in the cytoplasm in a prokaryotic cell. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so these two things um, are both made of nucleic acids. That's the type of biomolecule that they are. So they're a nucleic acid. Um, you'll hear it referred to sometimes as nucleotides. Nucleotide is just like the little structure that's got like the sugar and the nitrogen base. Um, nitrogen bases, sometimes you'll hear it referred to as like a base pair or a nitrogen base. And I'm just going to list the letters of them. You don't really need to know the names of them. Um, it showed them on the video that we watched. But for DNA, it's ATCG. And the little slogan to remember is apple in a tree. Car in a garage. Car in a garage. So that means that A bonds with what? T. T and C bonds with G. G. RNA is a little bit different. It's got uracil, so it's A, U, C, G. So it's apple under car garage. a tree and then car in a garage. The T is still kind of important in this one because when it's bonded with DNA, you're still going to have a T in the DNA. But A with U, C with G. So those are the base pairs of the nitrogen bases, or sometimes just referred to as a nucleotide, which nucleotide actually means it's got the little sugar attached to it, but it's sometimes used like that. Alright, so... DNA and RNA, does everybody have that, this part, the yep. nucleic acid? Um, DNA and RNA actually work together when you're making a copy of the DNA. So it goes through two things. One's called transcription. And the other one is translation. Okay, so... Transcription is where DNA is copied by RNA. And then translation is just where the RNA is translating the DNA code 
who make proteins. Proteins are what make up everything. So whatever needs to be made in the cell, they're making the proteins for it. Okay, so how this is done, you have your strand of DNA. So I'm gonna write out the codons. Codons are like a three um, part sequence. of your nitrogen bases. And we're gonna look at codon charts later this week where you can look up whatever, if it's like an AUC and it'll tell you what um, compound it is. So, um, if we have a DNA sequence, so let's have A, T, C, G, G, A, C, T, A. We're going to say that that's our DNA sequence. That is one side of it. If you are asked on your test for a complementary DNA strand, you're going to fill in what the other side of the DNA strand would be. So with DNA, we said that um, it's A, T, C, G, okay? So if you have an A here, the other side of it would be what? T. You got a T, so this would be, no, use for RNA. We're doing a complementary DNA strand. A. A. C would be with? G. G, and then G is gonna be C. with? A with? T. T. C with? G. T with? A. And A with? T. T. Okay, so that would be our complementary DNA strand. So that is, if you're looking at both sides of the DNA, that's what it would be. Okay, because A bonds with T, T bonds with A, C bonds with G. Now, if you're going through DNA replication, which is just a fancy term for you're making a copy of it, what's going to happen is, you're going to have an enzyme that's called DNA polymerase that's basically going to come through and split these two strands. Okay, so it's going to split those two strands. So it can make a copy of the DNA. All right, so after it splits the strands, we're just gonna go with this top part because it's gonna make a copy of each side of it. Okay, so we're gonna go with this uh, top one, the A, T, C, G, G, A, C, T, A. So we're making a copy of that DNA, DNA strand in DNA replication. So the first type of RNA that's gonna come through to make this copy is messenger RNA. So that's a little M RNA. So messenger RNA is gonna come through and it's basically gonna get the DNA message. Okay, remember I told you that RNA is A what? Not A with T, it's A with U. U. And then it's still C with G. Okay, so we're doing an RNA strand with this one, not DNA, okay? And that's something you need to pay attention to when you're doing your test. If it's asking you for complementary DNA or if it's asking you for an RNA sequence that goes with it. All right, so A would bond with what with mm -hmm. RNA? U. U. T would bond with A. A. C with G. G. And then this would be C, C. A with what? U. U. Then we've got G. This T would be with an A. A and then a U. So that's your messenger RNA. So it got the message from that. It put it in the RNA code. And then your next RNA that's gonna come in is R RNA. That's ribosomal. So remember ribosomes, what's their job? To make what? Proteins. This one was messenger. All right, now we're going to make the RNA code with this mRNA code. 
So you is going to bond what? We're still doing R and A. A, A with U, U G with C. Then we got G, G, U with what? A. G with C, A with U, and U with A. Okay, so they're taking that. Um, the ribosomal is doing that to make the proteins with, and the last DNA or RNA strand, sorry, that's going to come along is tRNA. That is transfer. Now I know this is a lot of steps. You're not going to have something like this, like on your test, but you may be asked to um, to do a complementary DNA strand or an RNA strand with a DNA strand. I'm just showing you how it's making a copy. So we're going through translation and transcription with this. All right, so we're going to do the RNA again. So A with U, U, U with A, A C with G, G, G with G, A with U, C with G, U with A, A and with U. All right. So after it goes through the three sequences of RNA, then it's going to make an exact copy of the DNA. So this will be the new DNA copy. So instead of U with DNA, it's going to be A will be with T, U will be with A. And so this will be A, A will be with T, G will be with G, and then C is with G, G, G U will be with A. A, G is with C, A is with T, T and U is with A. So it should be the same as that one that we started out with, because it made a copy of it. Okay, so we're going to look at some complementary sequences and some DNA RNA sequences this week probably just work on some worksheets with that we're also going to look at a codon chart to see what these little three letters are actually making if you have these three things together <laughs>